But the renewables industry has been kick-started by government subsidies, for which each household is paying, on average, more than $100 a year. There's a subsidy now being paid by people who don't have rooftop solar, and it's just not necessary anymore. So there's just no reason now to get people who don't have rooftop solar to pay for your rooftop solar. Anything that is government subsidised opens the door for people or companies who, who want to make a dollar out of the system. So be very careful that you're not just a pawn in their way of making a lot of money. For those Australians who've decided to install solar panels, the sun doesn't always shine. The dent it's made has not been worthwhile. Um, I think possibly after about 20 years we might get our money back. This solar system in Brisbane's west cost Alex Smith $9,000 back in 2012. It became obvious very quickly that it was not delivering anywhere near uh, the sort of return that a three kilowatt uh, system should return. The efficiency of the system was nowhere near what I was told it would be and the returns were very disappointing. The panels were placed on a shed roof, partly shaded by trees. I expected somebody to come out here and physically inspect uh, the site and say whether it was suitable or not. Um, but the way they did it was just simply to look at an aerial uh, satellite photo of the property. He says a vital part, the system's inverter, has failed three times. Each time it's had to be replaced. The message from me that may help others is do your homework before you install solar. Your home or your roof or the angle of your house might not be right. Solar panels should last for decades, but the market's been flooded by cheap and substandard products. 7.30 can reveal new data from the Consumer Action Law Centre, shows Australians are increasingly being burned by solar. At least 700 solar companies have gone out of business in the last eight years and it's left an estimated 650,000 consumers as so-called solar orphans, many with worthless warranties. You just saw this swarm of people come into a market where you actually didn't have many people in the market, so a whole lot of new players came in, and that's always a bit of a worry. Investors in renewables have long been asking for long-term policy stability and infrastructure upgrades. When we think about the building that we need to do, it needs long-term certainty to get it right and to get the infrastructure that we need to do right. But um, the, the political reaction, if you like, is simply a symptom of how the community is feeling. The community is really worried. We hear that worry and we listen to it. But renewables themselves are not problem-free. Solar panels generally have a 25-year warranty. Uh, we're seeing a lot of panels that were installed, say, eight or nine years ago, that are coming off roofs at the moment. Most are destined for landfill. This facility in South Australia is the only site in the country that's dedicated to dealing with solar panel waste, and it's nowhere near keeping up with demand. We're doing approximately about five to six hundred a day. The panels are stripped down to their components and the materials separated for reuse. Because it's, a, it's an emerging issue that's not really looked at. Sooner or later, about a million tonnes of solar panels will end up on the scrap heap. But it's a problem Australians have largely ignored. So it's a bit like something that's growing underneath their feet that's potentially going to be a huge problem um, if it's not handled properly. And what it could mean potentially is a huge landfill issue. We're in the midst of a transformation without a plan and that's the problem. So we, we know we have to change the way we produce electricity in Australia. We're not quite clear on what that looks like into the future. And that anxiety is driving governments to step in and take all manner of steps to try and be seen to be remedying it, bring down power prices, create a sense of certainty. But there is a lack of a national plan to execute a change in the electricity supply.